Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mana Vault here. Today we have a short little video where we're going over the best pulls that we had here on the channel in 2020, celebrate our way into the new year. If you like our content, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing, and we'll go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and check out these best pulls. That's uh, definitely a good one. Not extended, but it is a foil Mana Drain nonetheless. Uh, not much to say there, foil Mana Drain. Thought Vessel. Weathered Wayf- Oh! <laughs> I was excited about the Weathered Wayfair. It's like $10 card, right? But then I saw what was behind it. We got the Mana Crypt. Oh, and behind that we have Manamo. Alright, we just opened a $10 card. Behind that, we open a card that's going for $125. I'm talking about, these are the updated prices. I'm not even talking about original prices. This thing was $200 before this printing. And we open Manamo. This card's still worth like 20 bucks in foil. This thing was $90. If, if these cards hadn't been reprinted, we're talking about 20, 220. We're talking about $300 worth of cards I just opened out of that one pack. Even with the updated pricing, we're still looking at almost $150 of value there. And right behind that, we get good old Jace, the Mind Sculptor. The only one to not feature new art, but he does look nice with this, uh, this extended border here. Morag, Fury of Akum. It's the Minotaur that lets you take extra combat steps on landfall. Loyal Brushfire Elemental. And we get a, uh, another expedition here in Morphic Pool. Uh, these are originally from Battle Bond. Very good cards. Uh, see a lot of play in Commander because that's really the only place that they're legal where they're relevant. You need to have uh, two or more opponents for them to be relevant, which is always in Commander. Felice, Reverent Medium. Oh, well, we got a foil rare in the last pack, but I'm uh, way more excited about this foil mythic. We got a scroll rack here. <laughs> so we got a we got a foil scroll rack. Definitely a good start to this video. Oh, looks like I might have thrown something to the ground there. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it's kind of bent. You guys see that? Yeah, in the top left corner here. Maybe, maybe uh, wizards will help me out. <laughs> Got a foil Demir Guild Mage. Ooh. First mythic of the box is Snapcaster Mage. Uh, definitely not worth as much as it used to be, but it's still a very valuable card. It's a good mythic to see. And a Blightsteel Colossus. So that's not too bad. We got a Blightsteel Colossus and a Goblin, Goblin Guide as our box toppers in this first pack here. Land here on the back, the Kazandu Valley. The Mammoth. Followed by a Canyon Jerboa. And we do get another expedition here. We get Valakit the Molten Pinnacle. So from original Zendikar, kind of an homage to that. We get the original Valakit here. Uh, sees a lot of play in modern in the uh, Titan type decks where you can pull these out of your deck and just kill your opponent. And a Sword of Fire and Ice. So we get the best sword. Well, debatably the best sword between this one and Feast and Famine. But we get this beautiful Sword of Fire and Ice. Definitely cool to see. Ooh, we get a Mothra is our Godzilla card. Uh, definitely a good one. Uh, Luminous Bird Moth. Some of these cards, uh, you, you kind of know them by the regular name. Some, I feel like you know by the Godzilla name. This is definitely one that I generally refer to as Mothra. Ooh, <laughs> that looks really nice. We got a Foil Nethroi Apex of Death. Uh, this is the comic book version. Full art foil there. Blade, the Warden, the Pride. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a good Mythic to pull. We got a uh, Mana Drain here. Uh, second most expensive Mythic in the set. I believe these things are holding somewhere in the $70 to $80 range. I could be wrong. Obviously, it's probably going to go down a little bit more once release happens. I believe when these were in Iconic Masters, you could pick them up for as low as $45 at one point um, on the cheap end. Uh, so these things were getting close to $140 prior to this reprint. So it'll be nice to be able to pick these up a little bit cheaper again. And behind that, we get a beautiful Avacyn Angel of Hope. This thing looks amazing in foil. Definitely one of the, the higher priced ones as well. So, so far we've done very well out of this uh, mythic slot here in the back of that value. If I'm able to pull double the value, it's pretty good. Oh, right behind it, we get Selvala Heart of the Wilds. 
Um, I think this is down to about 30 bucks, but still, this card was seeing, I think it was close to $60 before this reprint. Hopefully it has a mythic. If we end up with a one mythic box, that's going to be kind of sad. At least our rares have been very good. Foil Emancipation Angel. <laughs> we get Liliana out of this pack, so we do get another mythic. Another A-plus mythic. To go with our Snapcaster Mage, our Innistrad friends are hanging out together now. We've got Lily and Snap. Needle Verge Pathway. Uh, Pillar Verge Pathway. A Foil Canopy Bayloth. And we do get an Expedition to uh, finish things off. We get the Prismatic Vista. So I said there was 10 fetch lands. I was kind of wrong. Technically 11 when we include the Prismatic Vista in there. Hard to say much else. And behind that, we get a, yet another Mythic. We get Kalia of the Vast is a another Mythic box topper here. So five for five. Let's see if we can round that out. Get three more in a row here. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a uh, extended in that pack. Uh, so we have our Legendaries. We get a Foil Full Art this time in the Rejuvenating Spring. So we managed to get a uh, extended art foil rare land here. Zombie token, Olivia's Dragoon is our foil. Ooh, this is actually probably one of the most valuable rares in the set. We got Phyrexian Altar. Um, this card was very expensive prior to the reprinting and has creeped right back up there in price as it's so prevalent in Commander. A foil general Kudra, definitely a good card for the human uh, decks out there. Um, it's a human lord, so it's it's pretty cool. We got a Volpaki, a Glowstone Recluse, another Gem Razor. Ooh, I know that this one's expensive. Uh, we got the Ghidorah King of the Cosmos, uh, also known as Aluna Apex of Wishes. We got the the Godzilla foil version of this card. I feel like the prices of these cards have to go down a lot. I mean, we just opened a Bloom Tender. This card was going for almost $60 for a while there. It's fallen. Um, I think even this version is still $25 to $30, which is crazy. Behind it, Colligan's Command. This card was like $20. Uh, fallen to like $10 to $12. But even at these new prices, I just opened $40 out of these two cards. Phyrexian Metamorph, still a good card, just not really worth a whole lot. And behind that, we have Chrome Mox foil. So we're right back to the Mythic streak. We're up to six, so that's where I was hoping to be, is it at least six Mythics out of these. And our foil etched cards are Tuya Bearclaw, Thrasios, which is one of the better uh, foil etched cards that you can get. I believe this one still holding above $20 uh, last I checked, but could obviously drop more. This card was up to around $60 prior to the reprinting here. So this desperately needed that reprint. Good uncommons. So that was a pretty good pack. We got a foil, foil dig through time, a gamble, lava spike, um, and uh, the land, the uh, the dredge land. Foil death denied, ooh, it's a good rare. We get demonic tutor. So our box topper might've been bad, but we're definitely hitting all out of the good rares. Hopefully our last two mythics, hopefully we get two more mythics in this box. One pack left here. Maybe we'll get the Demonic Tutor as well. We'll see. Last pack, we get a Brainstorm. Oh! <laughs> Calling my shots. Demonic Tutor on the last pack here. We get our Foil Basics. Comes from the Theme Booster. E2 Extinction, it's kind of like uh, Vraska's Contempt. I could see this card going up in value over time. <laughs> That's a good one. We got a... Uh... We got a foil extended arrow. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna help increase the value of this box quite a bit. So that's definitely a good one. Um, it's not our last pack, but uh, we're getting there. We have uh, one more pack, and we get the double timorat in this pack. We get the the non foil and the foil. Thank you everybody for watching. If you've made it this far, I'm sure you at least someone enjoyed the video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button there, or if you want to check out another video, click there. See if we what we can get in the non-foil variant. And not a very good one here. We get uh probably I think this is the worst financially. We get creeping tar pit. See what we can get. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh 
Ah, <laughs> we got staring wildwood. Pretty bad.